Hi, welcome back to Christine's Home Affairs. I have a couple of projects coming up that are going to have card slots in them. So I'm going to do a very quick little video showing you how I go about making some credit card slots for the inside of a bag. These ones will be able to fit six cards facing lengthwise. They'll span across the width of a bag and I'll just show you how to make these card slots that you can put into any size bag. It'll really just be a matter of changing the width of your fabric and therefore you can then go and put more card slots in if you need to. Hang around and I'll quickly show you how to make these card slots. I'm using a piece of fabric that is 14 by 9 inches and we only need the one. This one here is going to be for a lining piece that is 9 inches wide so our fabric is going to be 14 inches by 9 inches. If you're making one for a bag that's say 20 inches wide, then have a piece of fabric that's 20 inches, but still by 14 inches. So the only thing that will change is the width. Take your piece of fabric, place it wrong sides together. The only thing we need to do here is stitch straight across that top edge just there. We've got the fold here, we'll stitch that, and then we can turn it the right way around, and then we'll do a top stitch. I'm going to just use a quarter of an inch seam allowance and I'll turn that through and then I can do top stitching and I'll do top stitching on both long edges. Press that fold here and we'll just do a narrow 1 8 inch top stitch along the top edge and then we'll do the same down the bottom. So both long edges have been top stitched and the side seams are open. We've just got a little tube there. We don't need to do the side seams here because this is going to be stitched onto our lining piece now. So let's take our lining piece. I plan on putting this into a small bag. So I'm going to set this down only about two inches from the top of the bag. What we want to do here is place this onto our lining, but we're going to make a mark on this pocket piece first. We'll measure three inches from a top edge and I'll just make a line at three inches from the top there and we're going to now place our pocket piece two inches from the top and we'll position the raw edges just on the edge of the lining. We'll take this to the machine and we're going to stitch straight across that drawn line there. So we'll go and secure that onto the pocket piece now. Don't stitch this down or this one here. We'll be folding this up in a minute and one lot of our cards will be going in this section here. So we just want to stitch that in place. I did forget to mention earlier that we need to have two straight lines. We've got this stitching line here, three inches from the top. We also have another stitching line, three inches from the bottom. It, it is completely optional. You don't actually have to do that because you can just fold your fabric up. But if you do go and stitch this down, it does make it a little bit easier for you to pull your flap up. I'm just going to quickly go and stitch that. Now the reason we have these lines here at all are so that we can actually fit our card in. So if I take a card and place that inside along here, it won't go any further. It's going to stop at this stitching line. The reason we need the second one is really just so that we have a guide to fold our fabric up. But if you decide you don't want to do that, just fold your fabric up so that it sits half an inch below the top edge. Now my fabric here is nine inches wide and I'm going to have my card slot dividers three inches apart. So if you're going to use a piece of fabric that's say 20 inches and you want to have a series of slots in there, your card holders will be three inches apart. I'm lining up the three inch line on the edge of my fabric. I'll do the same on this side. And then I also have three inches in the middle there. This can go to the machine now. We can stitch straight down along these lines, backstitch where the first flap is, and then backstitch again where the second flap is, just to secure that in place. And then you can just go and stitch the edges down as well so that, that sits nice and flat when you're working on the rest of your bag. And there we have it, a very quick little credit card slot that can be used in any bag. So you can just stick your card inside there and you'll be able to fit three along the top and three along the bottom. So you can make a very simple little credit card slot to go inside any bag that you like. This is one of the crossbody bags 
that I've made. This is the lining on the inside. And we've got the little slot there to put our cards in wherever it's needed. I have a crossbody bag video coming up very soon where I'll be showing you how I actually install those into each of my crossbody bags. You can use this on any size bag you like, just add more pockets. Stay tuned for this one and I shall catch you next time. Bye for now.